Hello, Arvind sir. Welcome. Hi, everyone. A very good morning to all of you and a warm welcome on a Sunday morning for the fourth session of uh, CLAP. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. And I would also, um, I would extend a warm welcome to our speaker, Rajni. A warm welcome to you for our session today. And uh, thank you so much for joining. And I would like to request Justin, sir, to give a brief introduction. Post that, we will go on with the session. Over to you, Justin, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Our speaker today is Rajini G. She is going to speak about how to manage work challenges. So once our graduates complete their studies, they're going to face work challenges, which Rajini is going to address. Rajini was born a normal child, but due to medical negligence, she developed complications and eventually became blind. She has done her BCom and her CA, Chartered Accountancy. Currently, she is working with Azim Premji Foundation on the Azim Premji initiatives. Her other work assignments have taken her to Taj West End. Infosys and CBM. She has received many awards, including State Award in 2001, National Award in 2014, First Ladies Award in 2018, and many more. Her passions are music, meditation, med uh, mentoring both disabled and mainstream students and has spoken at many gatherings like Bangalore University, MS Ramaya Institute of Technology and the CA Youth Conference. She has spoken on topics like accessibility, workplace environment and many other relevant topics. Today she is going to talk to us about work place challenges and how to manage them back to chandana thank you thank you so much justin sir and a warm welcome again um, rajni and over to you and the like the session is all yours so yeah over to you yeah good morning everyone uh, it's really a uh, good moment for me, especially on a Sunday, to speak with students who have just graduated and who are looking for uh, their career and to work or otherwise. So it's, it's a really uh, nice feeling that on a Sunday we speak something uh, related to work, but it is not work. So that's the way I look. And I start with a simple uh, a quote I can say if we look at a door it is just a small part of the house a lock is much smaller than a door and key is I can say a tiniest part but still a key can open the entire house so is with our life. There are many tiny things which may, we may feel are very material. We may feel there are some doors. We may feel there are some locks. There are some challenges. But if we have a bit of thoughtfulness, open-mindedness, a small key, a small way or a small thought will help us to you know overcome many of the challenges or problems or issues or stress whatever we call it yes having said this what it all means 
It just means one thing. Number one, be open for change. Just let us understand that it may be a mighty thing, but a small thought process or even a small bit of action can help us to resolve those mighty issues, no matter whether whatever they are. For me, cracking a CA exam was a mighty issue. For others, it may be graduating. And for some others who have lost their uh, vision in the later part of life or who have some sort of a challenge, physical challenge, it may be just overcoming and stepping out of the house. That may be a mighty issue for that person. Now, what does it all mean? It all means just one thing. That is that our mindset, our positive approach, our positive attitude. So the whole talk today, I, I tried to relate to a few of my life incidents because I always feel and believe. It is more connecting to other person when we actually share our experiences because we have gone through it and we have tried to overcome in whatever way we felt at that time appropriate. So the second thing what I want to say is whatever I feel is the right solution may not be right for you and whatever is right for you may not be right for other person. But at that point of time, we have a gut feeling. We have an intuition. We have a strong desire. We have a great commitment towards something. And if we feel that that is the way we have to go, we should venture into it. Of course, with it comes the other part. There may be so many people who may be able to help us, guide us, mentor us. With due respect, we should take all the advices, all the suggestions, but let us be mindful. Decision is ours and we own our decisions. Having said this, once you graduate, once you step into your career, it may be a job, it may be you want to start on your own, it may be you want to continue your studies, it may be you want to improve your soft skills, what's or not. A decision that what you want to do is yours. Always I felt that before deciding, we should always think twice, thrice, four times, five times, but once we step, there's no looking behind. And this is what I did when I did my CA. As I was doing my BCom, I lost my vision completely, capacity to see in my right eye. It was a very low vision in my left eye. And it was way back in 1991 when the act was also not in place. The only decision I had taken was yes, I have to do something which gives me a job, which helps me to have a career, a independent life and where I can stand on my feet. I thought CA is the course. I was, I heard, I had heard that it is one of the toughest course. The past percentage is around two to three percent. Thought why not give a try? Yeah, thought quite a lot, how will I study? with the limited vision, with all the other difficulties, uh, since you know there would be outflow of tears from my eyes and um, it would constantly itch. I couldn't go out to the sun. I couldn't go out to the wind. I couldn't go out uh, traveling on my own. Many challenges, but the main challenge was I couldn't still read continuously for more than 15 minutes. However, I decided, yes, I will do. And later I started picking up one by one how I should do, what I should do, and how much I should do. I knew that I couldn't study continuously. I decided that I'll study for 15 minutes, take a five minute break and again study. 
So in this five minute break, I would try to keep my eyes closed, having put the drops in my eyes and then start revising whatever I would have said for 15 minutes. Believe me or not, it was the best thing I was doing, even though I didn't realize at that point of time, because it was giving me time to revise what I have studied. So immediately when the revision happens, when we try to contemplate on what we would have read for the past 15 minutes, we might not gather all the information. So go back again, read again, and then come back. So in that way, you are thorough with what you have read during that particular point of time, and it becomes a photogenic memory for you over a period. This is what I realized later. Yeah, probably this talk may also give few insights for few of you that you need not reinvent the wheel. After my CA, I lost my vision completely in my left eye too. It was in 1993 and into, up till 2000, I didn't do anything. I was at home, absolutely doing nothing. Number one, I had to accept the hard truth that I cannot see anymore. Number two, my father was diagnosed with leukemia and I was not sure how much he will accept me as a blind person. And number three, despite being in Bangalore, I didn't know what all the various, I mean, I didn't know the firstly the fact that uh, which are the institutions that support for people with disability or blindness. And number two, what is the assistive technology that's available? Of course, I definitely knew that Braille is a ruled out thing for me because learning Braille and giving my CA exams was uh, uh, a nightmare, I can say. I mean, it was just, I knew that it is not possible. I'm not saying that it's, it's not possible because of Braille, but because I hadn't studied, right? I mean, it was like I had to learn Braille and then I had to give my examination. However, it was just the patience. It was just that, you know, I would, I was thinking that, yes, those seven years gave me a lot of insights for me to introspect myself, the purpose of my life. It may sound very spiritual, unrealistic, but it is the truth. Sometimes we have to sit back. We have to just sit back and introspect. It guides us a lot. It shows us the way. And yes, it was not some time for me, but it was full seven years. After that, when my father passed away, I decided that, yes, I have to do something. And that's how I started uh, to learn JAWS through the screen reading software. It was accidental that I informed to one of my friends, as I told you about the key, to open the door. It's something like that. It was to one of my acquaintance whom I knew for almost 10 years. But only one evening I told her, she went and spoke to her husband. Her husband's friend was a volunteer at Samathana, which is an organization working for people with disability. And then I happened to get connected with Samathana, learned Joe's there, and went on to qualify as a chartered accountant. All that I want to say is it's just that one small discussion, not even five minutes with that friend of mine with whom I knew for almost 10 years. So we do not know how the opportunities come, how the doors open, how the pathways open for us. It's just we have to be mindful. And yeah, the only thing which we have to learn is as you're venturing into to find a work, to find a job, to find a career, don't lose heart. It takes time, but every moment of waiting makes a difference and makes a difference for you as an individual. And it also makes a difference for you to learn how to have patience, how to have perseverance and how to have commitment. Now, let me come to the workplace challenges. What we learned, I'm just taking my own example. Things have really improved since then. It was in 2001, 2002 when I learned. 
and what i learned at samatanam was basic capacity to read to make word documents to make summary documents to work on excel and browse the net outlook browsing the net also was a big exercise because not each one of us had a internet at our homes it was not affordable at that point of time so we had to be in these organizations and whatever net facility was there had to browse but it's good we knew the value of what internet is and we would get maybe 1 gb in a month to vsnl yeah it was a vsnl network i still remember it was 1 gb or something and we had to learn to use that for the entire month judiciously effectively fair enough and then i joined taj western that was my first job the first thing which we which i feel as as we get into the work is the first challenge that we have is an unknown place and unknown environment people it's not necessary for anybody to have any sympathy we should not expect any sympathy this is what i strongly feel but we must make people aware that we can do any work as anybody else does because generally the feeling is uh, oh yeah we should not give her too much work we should not put her under stress no no whatever you man you can manage you do no it's not like that we should say or we should open ourselves saying that yes i do use this 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 i use zoos i use uh, um a white cane for mobility i use uh, steps with the railings and blah 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 but i i can also do this 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 i'm good in excel i'm good in numbers i'm good in my communication skills i'm good in my vocabulary i'm good in outlook i can i i'm good in knowledge management i can browse internet to get a wide variety of information and whatever is relevant i can always process and share the information yes what is it i'm not good i may not be good in formatting i may not be good if at all you send graphical or images so what are the pros and what are the cons what are our strengths and what are weaknesses i'm sure all of us do know the story of the first tick crew i always relate that quite a lot in my life eventually the crow had to drink water and it had to put the pebbles in it so it it had to make a choice there were a lot of pebbles around but it had to make a choice of selecting those pebbles which will get into that jar which is not big enough that it gets struck somewhere and it's not too small enough that it has to keep putting multiple pebbles select those pebbles allow the water to come up drink and quench the thirst similar is the experience pebbles are the strengths and gaps or weaknesses in our in our life each one of us i do not want to say weakness it's a very negative word i feel i can say limitations or gaps so what do we do should we keep on pondering about those limitations that we have and not at all go ahead or should we encash on our strengths i personally believe it's better to encash on our strengths there may be 10 people who may say no you cannot do but there may be one or two who encourage you listen to them there may be 10 limitations which makes you feel that no i cannot venture but there may be one small thing which makes you feel yeah why not i try this look to that and this is the only way which i felt was the way i could deal with many of my workplace challenges maybe it is installing jaws or when the jaws sub suddenly goes on mute don't know what to do I, i we don't know where the unmute button is the keyboard 
layout in the desktop and the laptop are different and when you are sitting in an in a environment where you don't even know even maybe you know you have to attend nature calls you may have to take somebody's assistance are those very important factors or is it what i deliver at the end of the day what am i expected to do and how much i'm progressing towards that expectation another thing which i want to also say is aim for best result but don't expect that you can give 100% accuracy the time you start there may be some mistakes there may be some you know you might take time more than others do it might be like somebody may say oh you can't do this it's okay it's just okay you have given an attempt that itself is something enough for you to pat your shoulders you are not sitting idle you are not sitting at home thinking what to do what to do and you are not doing anything but you have taken a step forward and one step to 10 steps to 100 steps let me say it's not you can't go to the 10th floor always with a lift there is always the staircase also because not all times lifts are working similar is with life let us take small steps but let us constantly take those steps let us do take those steps without getting distracted with what others say so this is the something which i always want to say take take it as a constructive feedback take it as a positive feedback see what is that you can do best so that you can excel you can become better and you are able to perform to your best it's not to please anyone but to please yourself and this constant learning relearning unlearning is very very important for us at our work what i was doing in 2002 i can, i'm not able to i i mean i should not do that in 2022 many things but what i could not do that time i have to learn i have to learn to technology believe me or not when the covid hit i had just moved to asim premji foundation i had got the laptop i came home locked down 3 weeks absolutely nobody is able to come home nor i can take anybody's assistance up till then apart from using the phone for whatsapp chat i was not using for anything else and i was really getting nervous whenever someone would say that uh, why not we have a skype call even skype call i was getting nervous because i was not comfortable but once the covid hit and when there was a lockdown the meeting started induction started work started everything was with to start with the the google meet and then zoom and then skype calls and later to microsoft teams as we know you know it's i mean i don't want to really emphasize on what the challenges are to even identify where which button are mute and unmute button join and leave button video and no video button chat button how difficult to access on a smartphone but still there was that uh, you know i had to I had to because i had no other go i couldn't i yeah nobody would have stopped me if i have told that no i cannot learn and then maybe after the lockdown after two months but no i wanted to give a try and gave a honest try try to my best and i was able to pick up the best part was i had to manage my home home also where i had to get many things online so i had to learn how to access purchases online shopping online yes it all worked and yeah at that point of time it would be like i would sit late at 2 o'clock in the night 3 o'clock in the night figuring out how to do things but once you learn it is like yeah it's a, it's just a cake walk from there so all that i want to say is 
openness to learning eagerness to take feedback positively and not getting demotivated see I, when i say not getting demotivated it never means that we should not we will not be upset yes i am upset when someone put, tells puts me down i am upset but that should not stop me from doing what i want to do that is where we have to look, take a call how long you are in that phase of being upset and not able to do and how fast you come out of that situation to take up the challenge and to move ahead it's just like we have to keep moving ahead so this is another point which i always feel last but not least point i i'm not sure chandana how much more time i can speak another 5 to 10 minutes you can speak okay fine thank you thank you so much so yeah the other point which i always feel which uh, i have tried to inculcate in my myself is we have to keep enhancing our skills no matter it, it is in your chosen area of study or soft skills or communication skills or even interpersonal skills for that matter whatever the job demands whatever we have to do we have to try to see the best way or the most possible options of enhancing our skills it's not like somebody will keep guiding us no we have to become our own mentors many a times we have to guide ourselves many a times what is it i mean i'll just give an example when i was at taj west and it was more i was working on excel and coordinating with the people for many courses reporting to the management more a csr activity when i went to infosys it was totally a different arena altogether because i was into the finance uh, corporate accounting group and it was the at that time the international reporting standards had come into india and we had to do a lot of uh, reading especially on the i i had to literally work and enhance my skills on finding relevant information on the internet or any other sources converting pdf to word let me tell at that point not all documents were accessible even though it was being told that uh, you know the documents should be as per this this guidelines website should be as per this 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 guidelines no not everything is there so we have to find a way around to work and try to find a solution and when i came to cbm then my role was totally different i was heading the finance department it was not not limited to my uh, limited to looking at the financial statements or analyzing information it was more statutory compliance decision making management level operations administrations it was a blend and i had to learn myself to that and from there when i moved to asim primji foundation i consciously made a took a call that i will not be working in the uh, with the organizations who are working only for people with disability because i wanted to also see what are ngos doing apart from people with disability what are the other issues it's wide and rampant the challenges of migrants the challenges of informal settlements challenges of elderly poor challenges of people suffering from dementia there are many many organizations working for uh, uh, those sort of people and i had i felt i took it a conscious choice that it's a passion in me i wanted to do something the work is not just work but it should give me satisfaction it's it's also gives me a purpose for my life that's the way i have taken my job and that's the way i try to explore whatever best and even at work it is like whatever best we can do let us do fine let us take criticisms to the best possible extent as a constructive feedback and even though if we are not able to take as a constructive feedback let it not impede our progress let it not stop us from what we are trying to do 
last but not least it this will be the last thing which i feel which i have to tell uh take some time off whatever you feel is interesting you let us not become like that where it's always work 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 or reading 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 studying 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 no do something that really interests you for me music interests for me meditation interests i sit i sit in silence and silence gives me lot of lot of ideas and way forward music relaxes me and when i am doing my household work especially when i am disturbed the only thing i do is i clean the cupboard i clean the wardrobe once i once i clear the mess i keep things clean i feel that my mind also has become clean so whatever interests you please do that having said that i feel i want to also end with one of the Mm, you know a thought provoking uh, thing if at all we know zero shunya was invented by indians way back during our vedas and today zero is a number in front of one the number of zeros is an exponential number so others may feel feel zero is nothing but had that zero not been there even we would not have had any of these binary codes any of this logarithm any of this smartphones or desktops or any coding or anything what that we are looking today so shunya is not shunya it's beyond shunya thank you thank you so much all of you for this patient hearing and over to you chandana and justin thank you so much ma'am so um, really uh, it was so nice to listen to uh, listen about your journey and how you overcame challenges and your uh, uh, tips was really very helpful uh, now i would request like if any of uh, the students have any questions so it's open to questions anyone want to ask anything hi uh, i don't have a question but i should uh, you know take this opportunity to compliment uh, rashmi for the kind of uh, dedication and perseverance uh, we were given to understand it is like wow uh, i'm i'm uh, not saying it for the sake of saying but i genuinely mean that uh, whatever you told us it is like wow really wow your story is phenomenal and i'm sure a lot of us can uh, listen to and learn to excel ourselves with this uh, kind of uh, encouragement that you have uh, given Uh, i'm sure there are a lot of uh, you know uh, blind uh, students who will really think nothing is impossible but it is saying i am i am possible so that that was incredible thank you thank you so much rajni for sharing the story Thanks, Arun. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Vamshi, Firdos, Ramnath. Who else is there? Ramit and our IPP. The no Ramit questions Sanchez. from my side. Okay. but there is one important point that i would take forward from the session okay what is that like i can ask yes so that is about criticism so though we cannot 
take criticism positively but it shouldn't stop us that's one point that had an impact on me yes thank you for those thank you very true <clears throat> i like especially the line that uh, which said shunya has not doesn't have value by itself but the moment uh, it is put behind a one it the value just keeps increasing and we should all be like that right and there are a lot of other things also like from the beginning the one key can open doors to a lot of things that was also Absolutely. wonderful Absolutely. Uh, quote thank you so much ma'am justin sir anything you want to add on i like the time out thing to take time out and uh, rachni i would like to connect with you offline so uh, i will take your number from justin sir so hope it is okay sure absolutely fine and um, i'm i mean justin please be mm, you know generous in sharing my number to all those students <laughs> who would feel that they would like to speak with me for anything and for students yes i do know kannada i do know hmm. hindi to some extent but my tamil is really great i am not sure after listening to my tamil whether somebody who knows tamil will also forget uh, their tamil arun is from chennai only <laughs> you, you, <laughs> that's so nice to hear and so encouraging i know the why i said this i mean i have consciously tried to speak in tamil because we work with organizations who, are, who work in remote areas and okay. if i don't speak in tamil really you know it's very difficult and but i do tell them please don't speak, forget your tamil <laughs> <laughs> no i i tell you the difference you know the moment uh, the way you said tamil that itself makes a uh, difference because most of uh, most of the people who i know the moment they say i know tamil is like tamil tamil makes a lot of difference the way you say it itself so that shows how much uh yeah so the only point i wanted to make was yes please do share my number and um, i will be available generally after uh, 7 o'clock maybe between 7 to 9 for the students and we can sure however please reach out on whatsapp and whenever i have time i'll surely contact you each one of you yeah yes thank you thank you so much ma'am thank you lot. thank you so much uh, rashmi uh, by the way rashmi i am not a student i am also one of those rotarians who are in the uh, organizing this session so i you know uh, i definitely will get in touch with you because i have a lot of other things that i need to talk to you about sure. uh, arun has ms so he's a person with oh, yeah, multiple sclerosis, sclerosis. Yeah. great great yeah no i just wanted to say it's it's equally a learning opportunity yeah. for me also yeah and talking with each one of you yeah final okay. call any students have any questions Three, two, one. No questions. So I will stop the recording here. So thank you so much.